Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with some Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and today we're going to talk about Siege Hard, the magnificent tank that he is. So, uh, let's go over his TMR right here. He will Heroes Vow Hearth, uh, increase HP by 30%, defense and spirit by 20%. Increase LB gauge fill rate by 50% and increase earth resistance by 30% and trust me You want to build his limit burst up as fast as possible because we uh, you guys are gonna see how good it is then is super TMR attractive shield uh, It's a big shield heavy shield defense 85 HP 30% which is really really nice and uh, resistance to earth 80% uh, you guys are gonna uh, you guys are gonna see that you're able to build up his HP really really high and uh, not for anything he's a really really cool unit and uh, he's bringing some really good stuff so uh, these are the stuff that he's able to equip pretty much everything that he's gonna need uh, you guys can put some magic on him black magic and green magic no problem so let's go over his, uh, his special is innate abilities as it's written right here you guys will see that he does a lot of charm it's only five percent but there's always a little chance of charming the enemies which is not that bad because you know He's pretty, so he's gonna charm everybody. Uh, basically, the first one is Mind Charge, uh, Mind Charm. Sorry, uh, inflict charm five percent to one enemy, physical damage two times, and he does a lot of defense scaling. So basically, the higher his defense, the more damage he's gonna deal when he does a physical attack. So decrease spirit by sixty percent for five turns to one enemy, which is really really nice. Uh, then he has his AOE cover move so basically a uh, chance to protect allies from physical damage 75% with damage mitigation to 50 to 70% for three turns to caster which is pretty standard for the tanks then he has dangerous rows and free energy is going to be able to chain with Zidane so if you guys have a six star Zidane and you want to use him go for it you guys can chain them together physical damage 2.8 with defense scaling to all enemies which is pretty pretty nice uh, block charm Basically the same thing as a uh, mind charm, so 5% chance to put charm on the enemy. Physical damage, two times with defense scaling to one enemy, and decreases defense by 60%. So this is really good. So if you guys have some physical attackers or magic attackers, uh, the mind charm and uh, the block charm is really, really nice. Getting those 60% breaks are really, really strong. Uh, the other one that had really, really strong break was Bosch with 50% to attack, defense, magic, or spirit. Uh, him, he only brings defense and spirit, but still, nonetheless, you can dish out a lot of damage. And uh, basically, you can free up a slot to not have a dedicated breaker to, let's say, defense and spirit, which is pretty nice. Then, if that's not enough, he has a full break charm, which is basically physical damage 2.5 with defense scaling to one enemy. Decrease attack, defense, magic, and spirit by 50%. So 50% break is really, really nice. Uh, normally, full break, I think, is 45%. So, uh, 45% or 40%. But, nonetheless, 50% is really, really good, uh, breaking those stats, and he has a 5% chance to inflict charm, like, all of his moves. Then, I'm gorgeous. Yes, indeed, you are. Inflict charm 30% to one for one turn to all enemies. Increased chance of being targeted 100% for two turns to caster. And mitigate physical damage taken by 40% for two turns to caster, which is really nice. And if you use I'm gorgeous again the turn after, Name changes into Gorgeous Pose. Inflict Charm 50% for one turn to all enemies. Chance to protect all allies from physical damage 80%. So it's an 80% chance to cover. With dam damage mitigation from 60 to 75% for three turns to cast it. This is really, really good. And negates three physical damage taken for one turn to caster so this move is actually really really good so you're gonna provoke then on the second turn you're basically gonna do an aoe cover with a higher chance to protect and higher damage mitigation which is really really good then super wink uh on a three a three turn cooldown available on turn one inflict charm five percent uh to all enemies so it's a for one turn chance to protect all allies from magic damage so basically the same way that Mer merc ramza works so he's gonna be able to cover for magic damage uh, 75 percent chance uh, with uh, 50 to 70 percent damage mitigation uh, but this one is only for two turns i wish it would have been for three turns but uh, two turns not that bad so basically on the third turn you can cast it which is okay then yes yeah, sexy smile sorry about that sexy smile on the save seven turn cooldown available on turn one inflict charm five percent for one turn to all enemies then mitigate magic damage taken 90 percent 
for one turn to cast her. This is really, really good. So you can cover for magic damage. And if you know, like, let's say you're fighting Bahamut, because you haven't done Bahamut yet. Well, you cover, and then you do this. And basically what happens, you take no damage from Mega Flare. So this is really, really good. Uh, sexy smile. Yes, indeed. Then, he has a really cool move, move Earthbound. He's going to be able to chain with Eileen. Or if you guys have uh, Camille, you guys can chain them together. And uh, this is really cool. So physical damage on a two-turn two, two turn cooldown available in turn one. Physical damage, two times multiplier with defense scaling to one enemy. Uh, decrease earth resistance by 100% for one turn to one enemy. And chains with pile driver. So you guys can uh, basically build up your Eileen. Just do pile driver damage. Bang, 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 bang. And do a lot of damage so earth, instead of 75 percent uh imperil you're gonna do a hundred percent imperil on earth which is really good you just equip him with a earth weapon anything will do uh you guys can do element chain and also uh the multiplier here is low but don't forget the higher you build his defense the more damage you're gonna be able to dish out so uh he does the job of dealing out a little bit of damage and also imperiling earth which is really really nice and uh, you also have a chance to break, well, not a chance, but you can also break the defense and spirit, which is really good. You have a full break in him, so he's a really, really good, versatile tank for the cause. Then, the last one, Glorious Guard, 6 turn cooldown, available on turn 1. Mitigate physical damage taken, 90% for 1 turn to caster. So basically the same thing as Sexy Smile, but now, you know what? He doesn't want to take no physical damage. So you guys can just mitigate 90% of that damage, which is really, really good. Uh, high on MP, but uh, he's a really, really good tank, guys. So let's go over his passive. Noble stance, chance to protect one ally for physical damage. So if you guys don't cover, he has a chance to jump in front of the attack of one of your pa party member. Then increase SPR by 30%. Draw attacks, increase chance of being targeted by 50%, which is really, really nice. All you have to do is just put golem on him and... Uh, you increase the chance of being targeted even more. Then he has Edel's Child. I hope I got that right. Uh, increase SPR by 50% with equipped with a light shield. Uh, light shield. Light shield. Increase defense by 50% with equipped with a heavy shield. And increase earth resistance by 50%. So this is really, really good. Then siblings teaching. Increase defense by 20%. Increase resistance to confuse and petrify. So this is really good. Uh, since you don't want your units to be confused or petrified. Uh, especially the Confuse. Confuse is really annoying. So uh, this is really, really nice. Then defense 30%, HP 30%. So right here, the high, don't forget, the higher the, the defense, if you want to do some damage, the more damage you can do, the higher his defense is. And he gets a lot of HP also. Then he who thrives in adversity, chance to counter magic attacks with he who thrives in adversity, which is right here, restore HP and MP 25% to caster. So basically, really nice, if he takes damage, well, if he takes magic damage, he has a chance to counter by healing himself 25% to his HP and MP, which is really, really nice. Then, Noblesse Oblige, increase HP by 30% and Defense and Spirit by 20%, which is really, really nice. Autocast, Noblesse Oblige at the start of battle, basically increase Charm Resistance by 100% to Caster, which is really, really cool since you don't want your tank to be charmed so if you guys don't have merc ramza he's going to be a good unit to have uh which can be charmed which is really really nice then men of many rivals level 101 increase defense and hp by 30 percent so whenever you give him his own tmr uh chance to ignore fatal damage 50 percent when hp is above five percent of a max one time this is really nice so you have a 50 percent chance that if he gets he won't get one hit ko so this is really, really cool. Then, increase defense and spirit 200% when HP drops below 1%. Uh, basically, chance of this happening is really, really low that your unit's going to survive with under 1%. But, hey, if it does happen, good for him. But uh, a little bit like Sephiroth, when his HP is under 1%, uh, it, it's rare that this happens. But uh, nonetheless, having a 200% uh, buff to defense and spirit, if, does, if that does happen... Still pretty good. Then, level 115, MP 20%, and level 120. So once you max it out, this is where it becomes really, really nice. Increase spirit and HP by 30% when equipped with a light armor. 
increase defense and HP by 30% when equipped with a heavy armor, and increase LB gauge fill rate by 100%. And we're going to talk about his uh, LB real soon. Basically, the magic that he has, uh, bar Stonera, increase earth resistance 50% for three turns to all allies, or bar Stonga with Stonga and Stonja. So basically, all earth uh, magic is able to dish. You're not going to use this uh, as much. Maybe the bar Stonga, just in case, but uh, Stonja and Stonga, maybe not that much. So let's go over the limit burst which is really really nice and this is why you want to max it out and basically try to uh, build it up so you can cast it every three or four turns so when maxed out physical damage 16.9 times multiplier with defense scaling to all enemies mitigate damage taken 45 percent for three turns to all allies and it's 30 crisp so guys if you want to max it out you basically just try to build this limit burst up every single three turns and you're gonna have a 45 percent damage mitigation to your whole party this is really really good sorry about that this is really really good uh his limit burst is really solid it's not that expensive uh especially with his passive i think it goes up to 150 percent of having the uh, passive of getting his limit burst up which is really really nice uh so this is really good so siege art in my opinion really good tank uh the full break ch charm is really really good uh the fact that he can try and chain with pile driver is actually really really nice so uh this is not bad uh the only thing if you guys have merc ramza and uh, he's maxed out i still think that merc ramza can be a really really good tank for a long time uh siege art obviously the uh, limit burst helps a lot uh the full break is actually really really good but if you guys have merc ramza and it's working really good for you guys uh there's no need to pull for mr siege art but but you know what at the end of the day uh it goes down to if you guys like the unit and you want siege art in your party go for it because i know for myself i'm gonna try to do the step up for him we're gonna try to get mr siege art because uh you know what he's a beautiful tank look at that look at that pose all the roses around him and uh he's a really cool unit i want to try to get my hands on him if i do I, I do if i don't i don't but nonetheless he's a really cool unit i uh, bring some really cool stuff in his kit uh the uh actually the super tmr is really cool that uh, 85 percent uh, 85 on defense and that hp 30 percent is really nice and you guys are able to build up his hp really really high and since the near banner is finishing hopefully you guys got your hands on a lot of mechanical heart so you're going to be able to heal even more. Guys, on this note, let me know down below if you're going to be pulling for Siege Art. Uh, let me know if uh, this video was uh, helpful. Maybe it's going to clear up your mind if you should pull for him. And uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow some of you guys can pull him out there. So let me know down below if you guys are going to pull for him. Leave a like on this video. And guys, please subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.